Hello, my name is Zinchu, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to do deadlift and how to do a deadlift with a good form. And it is very important that you guys do a deadlift with a good form because uh, when you do deadlifts, it's highly like it's high risk of getting a back injury if you don't do it with a good form. As it's a, it's like a double-edged sword. It's either you do it good and you get a very good strong back, or you get a bad back because you do a bad form. So it's very important. I've been doing uh, fitness and been active in the fitness about um, three to four years, and I go about like four to five times a week, one of the, one or twice of back days. So I do deadlifts. I've been doing it. I've learned it from videos and multiple researching. So with deadlift today, uh, I'll be using this uh, this bar. That's my mop, but this will be this just easier to at home show you guys how to do deadlift. And let's imagine this is the bar, and uh, let's get started. Uh, first, first thing is first, uh, you got to get into perfect stance. Make sure your legs are shoulder length apart. This is going to be a deadlift form of a conventional form. So there's two. One is conventional and the other is sumo. So let's start with conventional. Conventional, you have your legs shoulder length apart, arms uh, aside, beside you, hanging. And when you go down, it's going to be aligned with your legs just like this until you reach the bar. Usually bar will be over here with the bumper plates on it. So let's say you go down all the way down and you go back up. This is a workout that targets your legs and your back. So let's show you guys the side. You go down and make sure you keep your back straight. It's gonna be a lot of range of motion for your legs not your back you're not going to be going like this you're not going to be going all the way back like this it's going to be keeping your back straight and motion fully or else if you're doing back fully you can't crouch like this it's going to get it's going to target your lower back and it's going to be a lot of stress over there it's going to bring injury basically so it's important that you guys keep your back straight, go all the way down, and then up. Another tip is that when you do your do your grip, that you do a mixed grip. A mixed grip is when you do underhand and overhand on one side. It's a lot easier when you pull up a lot more weight because it's easier to lose grip when you're doing only front grip when you're doing a lot of weight. But at first. Your goal is to just use it as a workout and build muscle and you go a lot of reps with less weight, it's okay to do uh, over grip. But if you're going for a lot higher weight, let's say like a few hundred pounds, it's, it's a lot easier. You're gonna find it a lot easier to do a mixed grip. Second, when it comes to sumo, sumo it's about the same concept. Uh, you go down and then you go up. That's the range of motion. The only difference is your legs are a lot wider and your toes are not face forward. Now this, this time it's faced sideways. It's kind of like 45, 45 uh, degrees angle, just like that. Two sides, so you get more stability and then all the way down. Like I said, your back isn't moving. It's more of your legs, back straight. You can't crash like this. Keep your back straight up. And that's when it comes to sumo. And before we end the video, there are a few tips that I want to tell you guys when it comes to deadlifting inside of gym or if you're new to this, that you find a bar that has two grips, two grips. So let's say the bar has one grip here and one grip, grip here. That's going to be you, help you get more grip on the bar so it doesn't slip off. But there are bars with three grips and that will be in the middle. And those are for squats. So you do not want to use those because it's just a common et etiquette to not use 
a bar that is not purposed for your workout so other people can use it. So let's say if you're doing squat, it's gonna hold on to you so it doesn't fall with the three grip. But since you're doing deadlifts, you gotta make sure you find a two. Also, it won't be very helpful for you if you have the three because let's say it's gonna grab onto your clothes when you're doing uh, deadlifts basically. And you wouldn't want that. And another tip is that you don't slam your weights when you're in the gym or else your uh, people who was working out with you won't like it and uh, possible that you will get kicked out of your gym. So that's about it. Uh, it's all about fitness, uh, I mean deadlifting with good form. Make sure you guys don't injure your backs and if you're starting this journey of fitness, I do recommend I do recommend this will work out in your uh, in your back days and possible for leg days because it does it, it does help with their uh, legs fully and full backs and and your uh, forearms as well and thank you for watching.